Oh, it's no. It's one of those nights where you're a wee bit off one's trolley and uh, listening to some good music and decided to uh, fix up my old heater. Uh, as you know, I bought that other ceramic thing. And that same night, this poor old thing, which I've had for about, oh, I don't know, 18 years, which gets used a hell of a lot, the motor started to seize out in it, as you can see. I not really want to turn. Like, once it gets going, it's all right, but, yeah. So, I'm going to give this old unit a full overhaul. So as you can see, it's pretty feral. So, the waste not, want not. No point throwing it out, it still works. I just repaired the switch probably two months ago, because uh, I was losing um, high temperature. Uh, hmm, good fun. So lazy, I got a volume control in my hand, my computer. Yeah. I'll turn that down a little more. Yeah. Surprisingly, these blades are made of metal. I always thought it was, uh, as you can see in the picture, that I always thought they were overheated when they were moulded, which caused the ripple, but they're metal. Um, that's why they look feral, because it's actually worn the paint off and it looks like it's gone rusty. I'll clean them up and see what happens. But yeah, it's had a lot of use. I cannot describe how much use this has had on heat or fan. Uh, got them off. Let's get to deal with the motor now and then clean it all up. What a prick. How to use a screw and screw that out to get it out to get to that screw. Mangles. thing all apart. You see it got a little bit hot when the fan sees. Discoloured it a bit, but not bad at all. I got it within about five seconds. Hmm, now I've got to clean it. Now that's clean. I'm not clean. This is clean. I'm going to take all this out and wash it. Oh, got a cat. Hello. Hello kitty cat. Oh. My case cleaned up nicely. As good as the blades get. Oh, I'm just going to just uh, put it all together properly and nice. I decided to give the blades a thin lick of paint. They're very thin, so I'll let that dry properly. And it's all back together, ready to clip them on. Uh, the motors, you know, the bearings will never be as good as new, but let's see if it works better. Well, that looks much better than it did when I pulled it apart. Uh, the fan spins now. Back good. Yeah. Well, put the cover on it and give it a test run. No, it looks much better. Let's give it a test run. See what happens. Ah, wow, that's working much better than it has in the evening. Try some heat. Low. Yeah, it's working. Five. Look at that Just like new again. Right. Oh, this heater can go back to uh, circulation in the carport. That's where it belongs. Now I figured I should service this one. It's had a, quite a few 24 hour days lately. It's been on all the time. So, yeah. It's getting a bit dirty, it's filthy, especially the back of it. I had to oil it about a month ago. Just put some oil down the tubes. Yeah, it's filthy. Time for a clean. This is the underneath of it. 
these are the instructions how to set the thermostat for high. Yeah, I'll put a nice heavy duty cable in it. Oh, there we go. There's 2,400 watts of heat. It's not too bad because I like to keep it nice and clean because it is a antique of all. Um, yeah, just need a quick dust off. Give the fan a good lubricate and um, put it back together again. There's the motor. Full old windings on it. Very old. There's lubrication tubes. I've rewired it a little bit too. Because it was a little weird before. Now it's a bit better. Well, that's all nice and cleaned up now. Looking good for its age. I think it's around about 50 or 60 years old. Uh, yeah. uh, I choose to use this as my main heater in here. Uh, it works quite well. It gets a lot of use. I try and clean it every 500 hours of use. And I lubricate it every about two to 300 hours. You can usually hear when it needs it. So, let's give it a test run. That's just on low heat. Crank it to high heat without electrocuting myself. Try not to. There we go. Light comes on down there. There's the thermostatic steady control. You can turn low heat off and have just fan as well. That switch is getting a bit old so I just leave it on low. Works quite well. Now just clean the cover and put it back together. Oh, that looks much better now. Now I'll put it back where it belongs and give it a good run. Cool. Uh, if you're wondering why I've got two heaters here, this one's for when it's really cold, and or when it's cold in general. And this one's when it's not so cold, or if it's really cold and I need to warm the place up quick, put them both on. So, yeah. I'll we'll turn this one on. Turn the lights off. It worked. Jam it on high. Cool. 